What's up, everybody? It's Bree here at Vinyasa Wave. How are you today? I'm excited to be back in the studio instead of the garage. Although the nature in the background was great, I'm happy to be back in Miami. <laughs> if it is your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Thank you for joining. I'm gonna to try to keep this one under 15 minutes again. I kind of like these shorter flows. That way you're able to use them throughout the day because I know everybody is super busy. This one's gonna be fun. We're gonna add some creative transitions in there, but we are not gonna do a long warm up. So if that's what you need today, just pause and meet me back on the mat whenever you're ready. But if you're ready to go right now, we're gonna start in child's pose. Kind of get to the back of the mat if you can, because we are gonna do some fun transitions. So open your mind and get ready. I'll meet you when you're ready, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. So again, we're starting in child's pose. I'm just going to say it again. If you need a longer warm up, which is totally fine, just pause me and meet me back when you're ready. If you are totally ready to go, let's go. Knees open, so as wide as the mat. And we're just going to walk it all the way forward. Just melt into the mat. I'm not going to put my forehead on the ground because then you can't hear me, but you can melt your forehead onto the mat. If you want to stuff some pillows and blankets underneath, you can. If child's pose is just not what you want right now, then just lay on your belly. Just see what you need for right now. And just start to land your breath, body, and mind right here on this mat. What does that mean? That means arrive here mentally, physically, spiritually, on the four corners of this mat. So anything you did right before getting on this mat, any expectations you placed on yourself for this meditation, get rid of it. Just set it off to the side. We don't need it right now. It is not serving any purpose on this mat. And then once we've set all that off to the side, just start to listen to your breath. See how it feels in the body. How does the body feel today? Do we feel anxious? Do we feel calm? Does it match the breath? Is the breath anxious, but our body is calm? What is going on in that body of yours today? Good, let's open the practice with a nice sigh out. So when you're ready, let's take a deep inhale. Pause when you reach the top. And then exhale, let it go. Good, one more just like that, but make it the biggest sigh you've ever made. So when you're ready, inhale. Hold it. And then open your mouth, let it go. Good. On your next inhale, start to walk your hands over to the left side of the mat. Pushing down through that right hip, finding some movement or finding a nice side body stretch. And then inhale back through center. And then exhale over to the right side, keeping that left hip down. Inhale, back through center. And we're gonna push right up into our table. We are gonna get right into it, right into cat cow. So on the inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes forward. And then exhale, round. See if you can maybe close your eyes and only move when your breath allows you to. Can you find that connection? Good, chin to chest, round on the exhale. Inhale, pull it through. Good, exhale, round. And then your next inhale, bring it back to a neutral spine. You're gonna take your right arm up to the sky on the inhale, 
bend the elbow, hand behind the head. So you kind of got like a chicken wing. Take a big inhale. On the exhale, take that right elbow, tap your left wrist, keeping the core tight. Inhale, lift back up. We look at the sky. Exhale, tap. Good, inhale, look up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, bring it up. Stay here, let the arm reach up. And then can we cross it around the back? Maybe we find our left hip crease, maybe we don't. Maybe it just hangs out on our back. Whatever it is, just open up that heart. And then take another big inhale. And then on the exhale, we're gonna tuck our toes, sit back on our heels, left arm comes off. And we're gonna keep twisting our chest to the right side of our mat. So my left arm is reaching over my body, keeping that twist. Good, exhale, bring it back. Let the left hand plant unwind. Good, one cat cow just to rinse that out. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round. Good, inhale, bring it through center. And then left arm goes up to the sky. Bend the elbow, make your chicken wing. Take an inhale. On the exhale, tap right wrist. Good, keeping that core tight, pushing strong through that right hand. Try to avoid collapsing. Good, again, we're moving only when our breath allows. Staying super present with our breath, body, and mind. Good, stay here the next time your elbow is up. Let your left arm reach the sky, and then maybe we find the right hip crease. Maybe it just hangs out on our back, whichever it is. And then when you're ready, on the exhale, sit back onto the heels. Here we go, keep the twist going. We're leaning to the left corner of our mat this time. Big breath in. Good, breath out. Good, bring it back, let the right hand plant. Unwind. Good, we're gonna keep the toes tucked. We're gonna sit back onto our toes. Just hold it here for a breath, big breath in. Sitting nice and tall through that spine. And then exhale, let it go. Good, rock forward just so you can untuck your toes. I'm gonna face you so you can see, but we're gonna get into the toes today. So we flexed our feet, but now we're gonna point and get the front part and it feels so good. So you're gonna take your right foot, you're gonna point your toes on to the ground. I like to keep my hand on the outer edge just so it doesn't bow out and just keep it strong and then just keep it here. We're gonna just do one breath, big breath in, breath out. Good, doesn't that feel good? It is a little painful, but it feels so good. Switch sides, point the left foot. So you're bending your toes backward, or not backwards, like you're tucking them under. <laughs> Good. Again, left hand on the outside, just so we're keeping it nice and straight so it's not going out to the side. One breath, here we go. Breath in, breath out. Good, and release. Good, bring it back to your table. Tuck your toes, and we're gonna just hover the knees off just a couple inches. Take a big breath in, breath out. Good, when you're ready on the exhale, hips go high, down dog. And immediately start to find some movement that feels good in your body. Maybe it's rocking the hips, shaking the head, whatever it is. And then we find stillness. So heels are driving down, arms are pushing into the earth, elbows, the inner elbows are facing each other. Big breath in. Breath out. Good, when you're ready, start to come up onto the tippy toes. We're gonna wave forward until we make it to plank. I like to walk my hands out a little bit because my, my down dogs are a little bit shorter stance, so I, if you need to walk your hands out, you definitely can. So on the inhale, lift the heels and start to wave all the way forward until you make it to plank. 
Good. And then once you're there, just gently lower the hips down to wherever's comfortable. And then exhale right back to down dog. Good. Here we go. Lift the heels, wave forward as you're, if you're moving one body part at a time. We make it to plank and then we lower the hips down. Stay strong in those arms. Send it back. Down dog. Good. One more time. Shift forward. Plank. This time, hold on first. We're going to drop the heels over to the right side. Left arm peels off the ground. Good. On the exhale, left hand come back, comes back down for plank. Heels drop over to the left. Right arm comes off. Stay strong. You can do this. And then exhale right back down. Good. This time we're just going to lower all the way down. Untuck the toes. On the inhale, lift for cobra. So just the top part of your chest and elbows are trying to meet in the back. Good. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, lift cobra. Stay here. Maybe we can send our arms long behind us. You should feel your lower back engage. Maybe the glutes are squeezing super tight as well. Hold it here. Good, and then exhale, hands come underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes, send it back, down dog. Take a big breath in. Breath out. Good, look to the top of the mat. On the exhale, make your way towards the top. When you arrive, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we go all the way up. And then your exhale sends you right back down. Good, inhale, halfway lift. On the exhale, plant the hands, step, jump, or hop back to plank, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. On the exhale, we make it back. Down dog, big breath in. Breath out. Good, walk your hands back to the back of the mat so they meet the feet. Good, take an inhale, halfway lift, and then take your peace fingers. We're gonna grab our big toes. Take an inhale, find length again, and then exhale, bend so far. You're trying to reach your thighs, so use the grip on the big toes to pull you even closer than you've ever been to your thighs before. And then release any tension you have in that neck and head. Just let it go heavy. Big breath in, breath out. Good, release. On the inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, we're going all the way up. Arms reach up. Stay here, and then we're gonna rock up onto our tippy toes. Find your balance first. And then when you're ready, slow and controlled, staying on the tippy toes, if you can, we're going all the way down. Good, did you make it? We're still on the tippy toes. If you had to drop the heels, that's okay, but let's shift back up onto our tippy toes if we can. Arms are still up. Here we go, we're gonna get a little funky. So when you're ready, take a big inhale. On your exhale, you're gonna start to open up the front of the body, let the, knees touch the mat and as you rock onto them arms circle behind you and then up good and it doesn't even have to be a back bend you can just stay with a nice strong spine or we can add a little back bend it's up to you good bring it back to a neutral spine hands come through the heart and then push the air away as you rock back up onto your tippy toes Drop the heels. Good. We're going to go again. On the inhale, pull it through. Drop the knees. Open the hips. Let the arms circle behind you. Open up. You're up on your knees. Big breath in. Exhale. Hands through the heart. Push it away. Rock back. Flat feet. Good. This time we're going all the way up to a standing. Right knee comes into your chest. Hold it here. Big breath in. 
On the exhale, extend the leg out and then step it down and we're going right into warrior three. Arms can be anywhere behind you, to the side, to the front, whatever you'd like, but we'll hold it here. Good. Take a breath, breath in. I cannot talk today. And then exhale, let the hands meet the mat. Left leg is still floating. On the exhale, tap your left knee to your nose, round the spine, almost like cat-cow. Open. Exhale, tap. Open up. And then exhale, tap. We're gonna hold it here, three, two, one, open it back up to a hover. Good, step your foot off to the right side of your mat. You're on the pinky edge of your foot. When you're ready, lift the heart up, hands come to the heart, and then we're going to rotate over to the right side. You can either stay like this or we fly it. So left wrist comes to right knee, open the heart. Big breath in, breath out. Good, we're gonna keep our arms like this. So if your arms aren't open already, let's open them. You don't have to make the connection if you don't want to. But we're gonna take our left foot and we're gonna bend into the right knee and then just bring it around and you're in chair, but you're flying the arms at the same time. Big breath in. On the exhale, drop the hips down all the way. We're gonna rock back. You can maybe drop the bottom. Hand meets the mat. Lift the hips high, left arm is reaching back just like we did in the beginning of practice. Hold it here, big breath in, breath out. Good, we're still gonna get wild. Left leg is going to step over your right, kind of in the middle of your mat. So you look a little funky, like you're kind of doing a curtsy, but one arm is up and we're gonna keep moving. Left hand meets the mat, Step your right hand over, keep twisting the feet. And ideally you'd be in pyramid, but if you're not in pyramid, just make your way somehow to pyramid, but we're facing the back of the mat now. So pyramid is a, sh is a little bit shorter stance than triangle. My left heel is in line with, uh, excuse me, my right heel is in line with my left heel. Good, once you've found it, on the inhale, lift all the way up, arms reach overhead. Hands come through the heart on the exhale, and then hinge at the hips. Maybe a slight bend in that left knee, and we're just going halfway. Nice, strong core, big breath in, breath out. Good, bend into that left knee, left hand plants at the top of your mat, and we open for half moon. Right arm is up, right leg is flying. Good option to grab that right foot. Good. And wherever we are, release the bind. Right hand plants, so we're back kind of in a standing split. And then I challenge you, you're gonna make your way to plank however you get there, but if you want a little extra spice, let's hop the one foot back, make it to plank. Good, lower all the way down. Inhale, cobra. On the exhale, down dog. Good, big breath in. Breath out. Good, this might be more than 15 minutes because I talk too much. <laughs> but I'm gonna try, we are at, oh yeah, we're at like 20 minutes. <laughs> big breath in. Breath out. Whatever you did for this practice already, let it go. We're on to a new side, a new part of the moving meditation. So our mind is open again. All right, here you go. Walk your hands back to your feet. Good, on the inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we go all the way up. Come up onto the tippy toes. And then down we go, slow and controlled. Good, again, if you had to drop the heels, perfectly fine. But let's make it back up onto the, whoa, <laughs> onto the tippy toes while we're sitting here. Good, arms are still up. Good, take a breath in. And then you know where we're going. On the exhale, 
Open the hips, drop the knees, circle forward, reach up, squeeze the booty cheeks, look up, good. And then exhale, hands come through the heart, push everything away, flat feet, good. Inhale, pull it through, drop the knees, circle the arms, and you're up on your knees, good. Exhale, push it away, back onto the heels, Good. This time on the inhale, lift all the way up. Left knee comes into the chest. Find your balance first. And then when you're ready on the exhale, straighten the leg. And then step onto that foot, warrior three. Big breath in. Breath out. Good. Lower the hands down to the mat. You're in standing split. Your next exhale, right knee to nose. Think cat cow, open. Exhale, tap, round the spine. Open to a hover. Exhale, pull it through. Open to a hover, good. Here we go, step that right foot off to the left side of the mat. You're on your pinky side of your foot. Lift the heart, hands to the heart. Find your stability first, and then rotate. Take your right wrist, push it into that left knee, and fly. If you don't wanna fly, keep your hands at your heart. It's totally up to you, it's your practice. Big breath in, breath out. Good, wherever we are, left foot sneaks around ooh, into our chair, sink low. If you weren't flying the arms, let's try to fly them now. Take a big breath in, breath out. Good, lower the booty all the way down. Maybe we sit back onto our butt, left hand plants, hips go high, right arm reaches to the back of the mat this time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. And then right foot crosses over your left. Maybe it meets the floor. You're kind of in a curtsy. And then we keep moving, right hand meets the floor. We unwind our feet, left hand steps over. Maybe you're in pyramid. If you didn't get it, just make your way to pyramid. Good. Once you found it, on the inhale, arms come up. Good, hands come down through the heart. On the exhale, hinge of the hips halfway. Big breath in. Breath out. Stay strong in the core. Start to bend into that right knee. Shift forward, half moon on the right side. Good, option to bind or find the bind. So you're grabbing your left foot. Good, let your left hand plant. And then same thing, so you're making your way to plank, so however you get there, do that. But again, if you want a little extra spice, let's hop back on the one foot, find our plank. Good, lower all the way down. Good, send your right arm long, bend your left knee. And we're gonna send it all the way over to our right side of the mat. Take a big breath in. Breath out. Good, unwind, bring it back through center. Left arm goes out, right knee bends, and we kick it all the way over. Good, unwind, bring it back through center. Push back into our table. Sit back onto the heels and then swing the feet all the way around. And we're going all the way down to our back. And then put your arms out to the side, let your legs go long. Bring your right knee into your chest. Good, and then just start to find some movement here.
and then find stillness. Left hand grabs your right knee and we're going to go all the way over to our left side. Good, but we're just gonna add on to this. So once you've found your twist, take your right hand. We're gonna meet our left. So everything should kind of be on the left side of your mat right now. On your inhale, start to circle your arm. So you're reaching to the back of the mat, opening up the heart, we're reaching to the right side of the mat and then down the body until you make it back to your hand. Good, inhale, do it again all the way around. Using the breath. Last one. And the next time you're on the right side, stay there, maybe gaze goes over the right shoulder, keep the twist. Good, bring your knees back into the center. And then exhale, let your right leg go long. If you're falling off your mat like I am, make your way back, left knee into the chest. Again, find movement that feels good. And then find stillness. Right hand grabs the knee and we're going over to the right side this time. Set up first with your twist, then bring your left hand over and then immediately start the rotations. So go to the back of the mat all the way around. Last one, last time you're on the left side, stay here. Gaze goes over the left shoulder. Good, and then bring your knees back into the center. Bring both knees in, give yourself a nice tight hug, squeeze it all in. Good, and then open all the way up, Shavasana. Final resting pose, palms face the sky. And just start to, and just start to release any tension, starting with the top of the head, working your way all the way down. Seeing if you can slow the breath down. Maybe slowing the heart rate down. It was a little fiery practice, so maybe your heart rate's up. See if you can slow it down with the breath. then start to bring some awareness back into the room. And then when you're ready, bring your knees into the chest and just roll over to one side, taking a quick pause before pushing it all the way up to a seated position, a comfortable seat, maybe cross the legs, maybe butterfly. And we're gonna do chin to chest, palms face up, sitting nice and tall through the spine. Just allowing yourself to have just a few more moments of just your breath in this present moment. Because you know, as soon as you step off this mat, it's immediately autopilot, racing back to everything we think we missed. So just gift yourself this next few breaths. And then whenever you catch yourself on autopilot or getting frustrated, just remember your breath is your anchor to the present moment. We're gonna close the practice out with a nice sigh out. So bring your hands to the third eye, that space in between your eyebrows. And then take a big breath in. On the exhale, let it go. Thank you for waving with me. I hope you enjoyed this fun, funky flow. I know I said I was gonna keep it under 15 minutes. I definitely did not. I talk way too much in these flows. I have too much fun. I hope you enjoyed it, even though it wasn't 15 minutes. I'll see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.